Hello there, thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a further look at the Hestia by Veonis, one of their introductory smart telescopes at a much lower price point but with some limitations that we'll discuss. Effectively it's an amplifier for your smartphone so you, it enables you to take close-up pictures of bright objects out there in space such as the, the moon as we can see here, also the sun with the included solar filter and uh, some of the brighter deep sky objects although that is going to be limited because there is no tracking available at the moment for the Hestia so it limits the exposures you can take to what I'm finding to be about one second so the moon needs a very low exposure so I'm one millisecond at the lowest ISO setting of 50 for that still a little noisy but if we stack about eight or so together it does give a better image now I just wanted this is just to quickly show you how it performs on the planets it's completely not designed to work well on the planets but you can capture the moons of Jupiter as you can see here by exposing for the moons rather than the disk of Jupiter itself so here, here we can see the disk of Jupiter and it's exposed for the moon so the disk is overexposed but we can see the moon's clearly orbiting Jupiter there so that's quite good almost like a binocular view I'd say and on this particular exposure I've I've tried to expose for the disk itself so you won't see the moons but you get to see the disk more clearly no detail seen higher up above the shot we've got the Pleiades probably the only deep sky object I dare go for under a full moon so I think it's you know bright enough not to be affected so I'll show it here so it seems to frame the the Pleiades quite nicely actually getting a number of those bright young blue stars in the frame as we can see I've just got them in shot here I did try and stack a number of these shots of the Pleiades together to get a better stacked image in Deep Sky Stacker but I believe I was foiled by the fact that I left the Hestia watermark on and the grey circular eyepiece view. So in future I'll repeat that without the Hestia watermark and without the, the grey area on the outside which probably confused Deep Sky Stacker. Anyway that's all I managed that night so all that remains to say is a big thank you to my channel members and patrons for your support and I'll catch you guys on the next video.